We begin here at 10 with new details in the drowning of a seven year old Chicago boy. He was swimming in Lake Michigan, his grandfather watching him when a strong current swept him away. He tried to save his grandson, but it was too late. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar spoke with the boy's grieving mother and joins us now live along the lake. Charlie. And Joe, good evening. Onyx Torres just finished the first grade. His mom tells me he was a brilliant student. He was out for the summer and was supposed to spend a few days at his grandparents' house in northwest Indiana. Tragically, a day at the beach ended with Onyx drowning. He was a gentleman. He liked holding doors open for me and he'd get mad if I didn't let him. Natasha Cruz says it's the small things that made her son Onyx Torres special. A seven year old with a full throttle passion for cars. He loved cars. He'd always keep his cars with him. He wanted to be an engineer. Thursday, Onyx was swimming under the watch of his grandparents in Lake Michigan near the Portage Lakefront in Riverwalk Beach in northwest Indiana. Cruz was back home in Chicago when her phone rang. And it's a park ranger calling me and he tells me that there was an incident and my son had to be pulled out of the water. The call came in to 911 at 4.50 p.m. Onyx was missing. He was found in the water near the Ogden Dunes at 5.11, 21 minutes later. And I'm told that my son was in the water. He was with his grandfather and a wave took him. They said that he was about knees deep. Just doesn't make sense. A witness tells the Department of Natural Resources in Indiana that the boy was playing in waist deep water and then swept deeper by a current. His grandparents eventually losing sight of him as well. I don't feel like my baby should have been in the water. It was it was not a day to be in the water. What do you mean by that? 60 degree weather, cold cold and the waves windy. Thursday, the National Weather Service issued a high wave and dangerous current warning known as a beach hazard statement, advising people to stay out of the water. I know it's not my fault. I just feel like if he was with me, that wouldn't have happened.